Hey guys, this is the Shoot and Move Drill Part 1, featuring the Keltec P3AT. Holds six rounds in the magazine, plus one in the chamber. I don't have one chambered, so I've only got six in there right now. I've got a second magazine, so 12 shots all together for the whole course. What that means is I could run out of ammo if I'm not very accurate on those clay pigeons. Um, I'm going to try to get all of them, but if I have to take two or three shots to uh, get them, I could run out of ammunition. But, but that's the course, and that's the aim of the gun. Each one of those targets, the position that I'm shooting from, is seven yards uh, to the target. So same, same distance from the shooting position to the target for each, thing, each target. Uh, so if I miss, I miss. But we'll, we'll give it a go. Like I said, Keltec P3AT on my uh, shoot and move course part one. Failure to eject. Caltech P3AT has got a failure. Failure to extract. That happened once before. Thumb was pushing the release button down. Nice. Center of target. And I'm out. That was the Caltech P3AT, not perfect. It had a failure to eject or extract, I'm not sure which it was, but the second to last round did not want to come out. These are Blazer aluminum, not sure if it's the brand or the fact that it's aluminum, but it did have a little trouble there. There are the results of the Caltech P3AT. Uh, one, two, three, four, five shots. Um, not too bad. About, uh, let's see here, let's put my hand up th next to that. My hand completely covers it. Okay, so that's about the distance. This is, again, shooting from about seven yards, 21 feet, and that's my uh, group. Not too bad, right? I don't think so. My palm just about covers it. I would say my palm does cover it. So I think that's probably acceptable. Keltec P3AT did an okay job for shot placement and accuracy in my book. However, um, I did experience both uh, failure to extract um, on the second to last round from the first magazine. Um, and also, as I was um, inserting the second magazine, I kept accidentally uh, pushing the eject uh, magazine eject button down. I kept accidentally pushing that down. Again, it was just, uh, I don't know, a stress thing, I suppose. I was trying to get it in there as quickly as I could, get that thing into battery, and uh, somehow I kept uh, gripping this, and my thumb kept ejecting that. So, something to note, just a little data point, my experience. Caltech P3AT, this is its second run on my shoot and move course. Let's see if it does any better. Failure to eject.
And back in battery. I'm done. Not done. Oh, another failure to eject. All right, let's get this magazine out of here. Get that round ejected. And back into battery for my last round. And done. Yes? Oh, that one failed to eject as well. That's the Caltech P3AT on its second run on my shoot and move course. Um, again, the group is not bad. I'm going to say that that's probably, again, a fairly palm sized group. So, not a bad group. However, the gun I'm not as, as, uh, as happy with. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I'm going to go ahead and say that this gun has probably not been cleaned once since it was new. And it's probably had a good 200 rounds through it. Uh, it's not my gun, it's owned by a female shooter that I know. I promised to clean it and of course I'm shooting it while, I'm, <laughs> while I've got it to clean it. But um, yeah, it has not been cleaned by me or I think by anybody. So that may have something to do with it. Um, unfortunately I'm not likely to get this gun back for another test. It's possible, but I uh, probably won't try. Um, you know, shooting a dirty kel -Tec is... I don't know, this is, these are the results. Shooting a dirty Glock is fine. The Glock just keeps going. But uh, again, this is probably 200 plus rounds. No cleaning. Has not been cleaned ever. I'm not really sure about that. And uh, these are the results. Uh, as far as accuracy, is fine, but I was calling out the failures as I was having them on the course. I wish it wasn't having those failures. But, uh, there you go, Caltech P3AT. Second run on the course.